Okay, I'm going to do a quick video on my favorite way of doing a rib roast. Uh, tried it a couple different ways, and this is the way I like. Um, going to just start with uh, you know this uh, nice rib roast that I got from the supermarket just now. Um, it was on sale, six bucks a pound, so uh, you know reasonably priced and uh, delicious. Going to season it up, uh, nothing fancy, just uh, this off the shelf. Uh, Prime rib seasoning. Uh, I've used it before. Comes out pretty good. So that's what we're going to use for sake of simplicity today. You know, weeknight and, you know, don't want to do anything super fancy. Just want to get to cooking. So that's what we're going to do. I'll show you after we have seasoned it. So uh, here we are. Uh, I just put whatever was left in that packet. And uh, it's all seasoned up. You can see that it has some rosemary in it. Probably some salt and pepper. I'd be probably going to... Uh, do a little bit more cracked pepper on it before I, I throw it on. But, you know, that's what we're talking about. Nothing fancy, just a, a quick uh, rub on the outside. So next, uh, I'm going to prepare the fire, and I'll show you that in, in a minute. Okay, uh, we're doing this um, rib roast on the rotisserie uh, over a uh, grill. And uh, I have to say, uh, this is one of the best accessories that has ever been uh, uh, given to me um, for my Weber. I use this rotisserie every once in a while, and uh, it's just, it's fantastic. I love it. Um, well made, uh, so I've got this all uh, centered and balanced. It's got a, a nice little counterweight over here, so once you got the, uh, the roast on there, the piece of meat, if it's a little bit off balance, you can... Uh, you can uh, correct that with this uh, counterweight. So it's all balanced out and, and ready to go. We've got the uh, coals going, and uh, so uh, we'll be putting this on there pretty soon. So I'll show you that set up in a minute. So here is my uh, rotisserie rig. Um, just a regular Weber kettle grill. Um, with uh, a, a ring around the uh, upper outside that uh, allows you to mount a rotisserie uh, motor. So very, uh, very handy, well designed, uh, nicely sealed. Uh, these charcoals are getting to uh, where they want to be. Uh, we're going to be doing this indirect heat. I got a pan of water over here uh, that we're going to put down underneath the meat. I'll show you all that, but uh, I just wanted to get a shot of the uh, the rotisserie rig that I'm going to be using. And there it is. Okay, so we're uh, we're ready to go here. I've got my uh, coals in. So either side of this uh, water pan. So let's go ahead and put the uh, the rib roast on. So just goes in here. Okay, there we go. So it fits in there. Just turn this baby on. And away she goes. So that's going to cook for uh, about an hour. But uh, we're going by temperature, so uh, going for an internal temperature of about 127 or 128 or so. Because I like mine uh, medium rare, probably a little bit on the rare side. And uh, just uh, according to my uh, past experience, that's going to be the temperature I'm shooting for. So there we go. So we'll check in on this in a little bit. Okay, we're about a half hour into this cook, and so let's let's have a look. That is why I like doing rib roast. 
on the rotisserie. Man, isn't that pretty? Um, okay, it's coming along for sure. So, I'm going to start checking the uh, temperature pretty soon here because uh, you can go from perfect to overdone uh, pretty quickly. So, um, again, I'm going for an internal temperature of about 127 or so, and then I'm going to let it rest. Temperature will come up a little bit from there. Uh, so, so far, so good. All right, we're done here. Get my glove here. That is looking good. Very nice. So we're going to let that rest probably like 20 minutes and then we'll uh, carve that up. All right, here's our, uh, our roast. It's been resting for about 20, 25 minutes. So let's give this a cut. I want to get it right along the bone here. I don't want to cut off too much, just me tonight, so. So uh, I'd say that's done just about right. Very juicy and delicious. So there you have it. Rotisserie uh, rib roast. All right, that's how it's done.